Awesome. I think we're live too. We're going to talk about some stuff today. You know why? Because there's no Tom Heineber, Logan Stewart. Yeah, he's lame. He sucks. He's lame. He's like, I have an appointment with my barber and I can't break it. And I said, Tom, we do a show kind of for a living and you're yeah. kind of part of the team. He's shaving his back. That's what it That's is. Gross. It's manscaping. And speaking of unprofessional, uh, today we're going to talk <laughs> about, let me load up your comments here. Uh, today we're going to talk about something that is really okay i think we just have to roll the clip logan and let the people decide what they think and then we'll talk about it uh go ahead and let's roll this clip of a surgeon in georgia last name Boutte. i didn't make that up <laughs> who's about to keep it real in the or check it before you wreck it peeps Booties on the fleet, waistline snatch, got a bang body with a smile to match. Yeah, wow, booties on the fleet, waistline snatch, got a bang body with a smile to match. Yeah, you can have whatever you like. Ooh, Betty Boo, just a rabbit. J-Lo, Nicki Minaj, ever you like, you can have whatever you like, yeah. <laughs> the booty, the booty, the booty's on fire. We don't need no hippo, let the mother flipper burn. Man, wow, wow, yeah. wow. Okay, so that's a Georgia cosmetic surgeon, advertises herself on her website as like leading surgeon to the stars, Atlanta's top surgeon, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. UCLA trained by all indication on the website, a very professional and accomplished doctor and surgeon who just twerked in the OR over a patient while performing a procedure with her staff going, <clears throat> By the way, I believe that was OT Genesis Cut It. Am I wrong? It was, Z. It was. It's important to know the game so that you can sew the game. Uh, and I personally, z -Pack, am going to take full responsibility for this travesty. If z -Dog MD hadn't dropped mad fire for years, <laughs> this would never have been considered okay to do. Am I right? That's true. That's true. Leave a laugh emoji if you've ever twerked in the OR. Yeah, I want to see laugh emojis for twerking. Look, we all play music in the OR. We all talk smack in the OR. This is something that's just part of the culture. However, making a video in the OR with your patient visible in a state of undress while performing an operation and acting like this, I think 99 out of 99 doctors and patients and malpractice lawyers would agree is completely unprofessional, inappropriate, and unsafe. And to wrap this up in a nice feather mattress, she is, the vic she is now uh, involved in lawsuits of the malpractice nature for patients who say she botched operations. The lawyers are pulling out this video that I believe she posted on YouTube or somehow publicly posted and are using it as examples of her unprofessional behavior. And honestly, it is impossible for me to defend her. As someone who is known to twerk it's on true. command, I Kin don't do it with my patients. Kindred souls, kindred souls. Kindred souls. I consider myself a twerking consultant to the stars. When they need that booty, they come to me. Anyways, listen, <laughs> let's read a couple comments. She's not even a surgeon. I read she's a dermatologist, Woodline Pierre. Mm -hmm. So on her side, it says cosmetic surgeon specializing in skin. I don't know the details further than that. Um, surgeons need to relax, say Christy Demetz. Okay, so let's talk about this. What we just saw, most people would agree is pretty egregious. It's also funny as hell, by the way, look at it. Like, is. You haven't seen the rest of her video. She does low, she's like, shorty got them apple bottom scrubs, Crocs with the fur. So she, she can move, she can rap, she's got it. Is that appropriate in the OR? It's a discussion about professionalism. And let me tell you, as someone who straddles the world of being a hyper professional, pretty Trump type, doctor, Stanford for many years, UMC hospital here, the two worlds and somebody who like raps, <laughs> does whatever it is I do, 
am occasionally accused of unprofessionalism, usually by unprofessional people. Uh, it's pretty clear to me that that crosses an obvious line. And it, ha it has you think, okay, listen, you need as a professional, you need to blow off steam. We have forums for that. We have our videos. We have the doctor's lounge and the nurse's lounge and staff lounge and parties and home with a couple of beers. We don't do it in the OR at the expense of our patients. We blow off steam in a way to allow us to maintain our compassion and our empathy for our patients, not at their expense in front of them in a humiliating and de degrading way. And I think that's where it's pretty clear, even though she's got moves, she's got rhymes, she knows her uh, lexicon of Dirty South. She's gonna be a star, see? She's gonna be a star, she has it, see? I've seen many of these docs, see? And you're the one who has it, see? Come over to the casting couch, see? Me three, me three. <laughs> This is where you cross the line. And let's read a couple comments and I'm gonna talk about how I sort of handle this because it's pretty clear. First of all, it puts you at legal risk. Her board licensure is now in risk because the board's gonna get complaints in this video. Does it violate HIPAA patient privacy? There was one video that she posted where the patient's butt is clearly visible and she's talking about booty and this and that and wrapping and her team is doing this thing. By the way, that anesthesiologist was dope. He was he working. Was, he was the hype man. You know, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. Anesthesia is, did you see how I just said that? Anesthesia. I've been, uh, I've been studying in Europe for years. <laughs> anesthesia is the perfect hype man because they just sit in the back, go, go, go. It's like the guy in Cypress Hill who's just like, the main guy's like, hits from the bong and the guy in the back that just goes, came to get high. <laughs> like that's anesthesia. They're the came to get high guy. So look, the video was. I'm gonna play it again, Z. Play, play it again, let's just People play it again. It. We, gotta, we gotta see it again. <laughs> Okay, I think we got enough. It's amazing. It's a, it's, it's a it's fine. Great. It's a hit. Cool. It's a hit. I yeah. smell a hit, guys. I smell a hit as a and our guy. I smell a hit. Okay, listen to this. <laughs> totally unprofessional. Like clear. Here's here's how we have to think about this, guys. We have an obligation to our patients. We have an obligation to respect them, show them dignity. We can blow off steam in private. We do not do what this doctor is doing. We do not post this on. When I do videos, when we shoot, so we did our Nurse Virginia video, big tribute to nurses. We wanted it to be authentic while being respectful. Well, to do that, you shoot in a real hospital, UMC hospital, real patients are walking around that you either have to blur out or uh, cut from the scene, and you're getting real staff who are doing their jobs every single day. And what really pisses me off, honestly, Logan, is we do all that stuff and we get real nurses, we get real teams, we bring real uh, gifts for the potluck for them. And still, we got a bunch of grief from male nurses who are like, you didn't do enough for us. And I'm like, this was a real hospital. We made a call to every single nurse to join us especially male nurses, because we wanted a bunch, mm. one came and he was dope, yeah. and we put him in the video. Yeah. And so that is called, first of all, maintaining dignity of the staff, second of all, being professional and honoring our staff while respecting patients. There is a balance, and I'm not gonna toot my own horn too much, but I think we're generally pretty good. Now, there are times when even we inadvertently cross the line. For example, the other day, we posted on Instagram an image of an elderly patient or a woman in a Hoyer lift like this. And the caption was, came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> and, and we thought, well, this is really funny because the Hoyer lift is, it makes you look like you're Miley Cyrus in a wrecking ball thing. The problem was, this was a public image all over Google. It immediately triggered a bunch of people to go, that's a HIPAA violation. You're disrespecting an elderly patient. It's, it's demeaning the dignity of this woman. And you know what, the minute I, cause I didn't see it from that angle, I just saw the comedy in it and I was blind for a second. When, the minute I saw that, I, I looked at the image again and I was like, they're absolutely right. Like there's no debate here, yeah. let's pull it. And we deleted it because again, our goal is not to demean patients or demean each other. Our goal is to have fun, to educate, to entertain, and to build a platform that promotes this reconnected, repersonalized health 3.0. And if that didn't do it right and it's unprofessional, we gotta pull it. The other thing that happened, Logan, is, and you were privy to some of this, is our, I have two Facebook groups that we created where we can talk about stuff, blow off steam. They're closed, which means 
Outside world can't see in unless they join the group. But pretty much anyone can join. You can just get kicked out really easy if you misbehave. So we're not just screening for healthcare providers. It's impossible. There's thousands of requests every day. It's very hard to do. And so it was hard to moderate. I was moderating it. Tom was moderating it. Just becoming hard, so we backed off on the moderation on Doc Vader's uh, Dark Side for Life Tribe Talk, mm -hmm. and within just a few weeks, it spiraled into a den of just pornographic images, hateful posts, like political stuff, and I'm like, what? Is and these are healthcare people, and honestly, you get angry like the way a dad gets angry at a kid who just doesn't freaking get it. You're like, what is wrong with you? Do you really think, as a healthcare professional, it's okay to post that in a forum that's closed? Anyone can see it, anyone can take a screenshot, and it's disgusting. Like, mm -hmm. some of the stuff was just, look, I'm as edgy as the next guy. It was just disgusting. I got so pissed, I closed the entire group for like two days and it was like, I am done. And then we found some moderators and we're going through and scouring it and cleaning it up. Because look, you can be edgy, you can be funny, you can be irreverent. We try to do those things. But being unprofessional usually is a clear thing. What this woman is doing in the OR is clearly unprofessional. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's not even a debate. Let's read some, let's read some comments. Uh, uh, Liliana Cook says they broke sterile field. Watch closer. I noticed that too, Liliana, and you didn't see the other videos where she was wearing like a Christmas hat mm -hmm. on top of her bouffant and was twerking and had like a Christmas stocking on the patient's foot and was like boots with the fur for low. Like I, in between laughing uncontrollably, I thought that is so inappropriate and so demeaning to the patient. And look, guys, look, look, look. We can get really dark. Gallows humor is what we do in medicine, and it's okay because it brings us together and it gives us the outlet and the energy to face things that nobody else in the world sees short of on the front lines of battle, right? It's EMS week right now. Our frontline EMS providers, paramedics, EMTs, etc. These guys are seeing things that would give PTSD to anybody and they take it home and zip it up, right? If they don't have a way to have an outlet, then it's all over, it's game over, right? So we want that stuff, but this is just crossing a line. Plus there's an element, like a weird element of, I mean, look, I'm a narcissist, I'm histrionic, I love attention. <laughs> that takes it to the next level. Man. You gotta up your game, Z. I gotta, gotta up my up game. game. Next time, I mean, maybe we'll just do That's an operation it. on Tom Heineber. Yep. He that'll, that'll be the end of everything. <laughs> he signed several HIPAA waivers. Uh, let's read some comments. <laughs> uh, Gallows humor has a time and a place, Noah Webb, exactly, exactly. And when you cross that line, it's really too much. I remember I had, a, I had an attending physician because I would make jokes on rounds. I had an attending physician at UCSF who would say, Demania, you speak and then think. <laughs> I'd like you to reverse that. Or better yet, just think. And I'll never forget that because he had a point, which is, look, we can have our gallows humor and we can make jokes, but there's a time and a place, and probably rounding in the hospital is not the ideal venue for that when you're trying to do serious work. Uh, so I learned my lesson quickly on. Um, Pamela Ryther says, that surgeon was unprofessional not even to talk about sterile field. Like I said above, I just had a two hour surgery and if my team did that, I'd be flipping tables and calling on anyone higher up. Well, yeah, and she had malpractice suits going on. This is gonna make everything worse for every reason. Malpractice, professionalism, dignity, etc. This is totally inappropriate. And you know, look, we see stuff that's a lot more subtle and insidious. This is obviously an in your face example. But you know, there was the case of the patient who recorded her GI doc saying some horrible things about her. Look, we shouldn't be secret, secretly recording our docs, but we also shouldn't be needing to do that. So we have to, again, we're the front lines of professionalism and representing our field and our profession. We still have really high scores, especially nurses, have really high scores for respect and credibility in society. Why would we flush that away, right? We can have fun, we can, we can be entertaining, we can make each other laugh, and we can make our patients laugh too when the time is appropriate. But the time to be professional is pretty much always when we're practicing. Uh, and, and that's the sort of take home from this because this example again is just over the top. What do you think, Logan? I think you gotta show the people how you twerk, Z. <laughs> Let it sink in. I can't yeah. twerk. I hurt my back just doing that. Plus I'll pull my mic out. 
Lack seasoning. Uh, Z-Pack, this is what helps us. If you hit like, if you leave a comment, if you tell us your story of professional and unprofessional behavior that you've seen or that you've displayed in the comments, uh, Facebook loves that. Facebook does not promote our video out to the world unless you guys engage with it. That's their new metrics ever since Zuckerberg had to stand in front of Congress. Mm -hmm. So if you want this video to spread, you gotta hit share and you gotta hit like and you gotta make those little emojis do their funny little thing. Mm -hmm. It helps us a lot. What do you think, Logan Stewart? I think a lot of things. <laughs> This is me and Logan, like <laughs> two strange individuals without Tom's moderating influence. Moderating influence. And we start showing videos of doctors twerking in the OR. It's what we do, Logan Stewart. It's what we do. I love you so much, Logan. Oh, thanks, E. We are out. <laughs> oh, let's play the video. Hey! <laughs> Go to the yeah, video, Z. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Alright, I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut, cut it. it. I don't know. Cut, cut it. it. I think I stopped it. <laughs>